Another week here at the shop. Let's get you an update and see what we have going on. Uh, the Volkswagen Atlas that got dropped off last week, that one's getting a chrome delete. It's got some 24s and we're doing some caliper paint on it. So that one will be done probably here in the next couple days. We got the truck that we did the seven inch lift on sitting on the ground, wheels and tires are already on. The wrap is going down on this truck. So this truck will be good to go this week. Brand new 24 Mustang S650 GT 5.0. Uh, this one's here for ceramic tint. It's getting PPF on the hood, the front bumper, and the mirror caps. So that'll be here. That'll be good to go here in the next couple days. Uh, we still got ceramic coated after the PPF. The white F250 long bed King Ranch is getting put back together right now. Uh, it's got some cutting and buffing to do on this truck, and then that one will be good to go. We got a brand new Yukon Denali Ultimate here. This one's in to get some tint going down, uh, I think side and back, as well as the eyebrow. So that one's gonna look good. I don't know if you guys have seen the new Ultimates, but these things are sick. The whole interior is all one to itself. It's only the Ultimates have this interior with the massage seats, pretty badass truck. We got my buddy Jonathan here, his Audi RS e-tron GT. Uh, he's the same guy that has the white TRX with the Boston ultra wide, uh, wheels, ultra deep concave wheels. So this one's here for a set of wheels, tires, dropping it, wrapping it, tinting it, you name it, we're doing it to it. And his wheels are already in, sitting in the boxes. And then right behind Logan here, we got a GMC AT4 1500. This one's getting a four inch lift, some fuel rebels, 35s, uh, color matching a lot of stuff, chrome deleting it, it's gonna completely change the look of this truck. Factory, the color is already pretty badass. It's like an Nardo gray color. But yeah, we're uh, gonna change it up a little bit and make it look even better. Wednesday update today. We got a lot of stuff going on today. Actually, Wednesday? No, today's Tuesday, huh? Yeah, it's, it's been that chaotic of a day. Um, the Audi RS e-tron is getting the tint done today. The sensors are already out from the factory wheels going into the new wheels. And speaking of wheels, there's a lot of wheels going on today. We got this Tundra getting the two inch lift. That one is actually getting a set of Fuel Rebels, no, no shocker, uh, in uh, bronze on some 34 inch Nitto Recons. These black Fuel Rebels are going on another GMC Sierra 1500 with some 35, 1250s and a four inch lift. That one's on an, eight, that was an AT4. My wife's car, uh, which we'll show you in a couple minutes. Uh, that one got her Forgiatos back on with some new tires and it looks badass. The Volkswagen Atlas with the Chrome Delete, that one's gonna be done here shortly. Uh, that one also got the 24s on there. And uh, let's check in and see what else we got outside. All right, so that four inch lift on the GMC Sierra, this is the truck right here. It's actually getting a bunch of other stuff done too, as well as like color match arches, the four inch lift, 20 by nine fuel rebels and 35 inch uh, Nitto recons. Getting a bunch of stuff color match. So this truck's gonna look completely different when it leaves here. We do a lot of GMCs. It's no kind of secret here that we do the most. I think the most on social media you can find in the, this, we do the most in, in the country in general. But let's go check what else we got. We've got a Subaru Ascent. That one's getting tint up next. Uh, ceramic all around with the windshield and the sunroof. Um, we're actually talking about doing a lift, wheels, tires, and exhaust on that one as well. The F250, I know you guys are tired of seeing it. It's almost done. Had to get a couple things redone because we weren't, we weren't happy with the finish. Um, we got the C3 Corvette. That one's gonna be leaving today. And we got a Buick and Vista. I don't know if you guys have seen those around yet, but for $24,000, it's a lot of car. That one's here for, you guessed it, a Chrome Delete. Wednesday update, I don't know if you guys like the daily updates or not, or if you want more of a different raw vlog style, but for right now, we're gonna go daily updates until you guys say otherwise. So today is Wednesday, we're getting a lot of stuff knocked out. We got the Mustang PPF done, tint is done, getting the ceramic coating going down today. That one will be good to go later on tonight. We got the Volkswagen Atlas that we did the blackout, and the 24s and red calipers on. This one's about done, it's about to leave. So this one will be out of here today. We got the brand new Tundra that we, this is actually a different Tundra that we did, but Fuel Rebels, 
34 inch tires. We did a two inch ready lift on here. This is actually with an air suspension on it too. Not an easy lift to do. You'd think a two inch wouldn't be that difficult, but it was. It's getting tint going on it right now. It'll get washed up, cleaned up, and then Logan can do his videos on it. Range Rover is here. This one's getting a full ceramic tint as well as a ceramic coating. The Audi RS e-tron back there is gonna get the tint finished up today. The last tire got picked up today. 335, 25, 22s in Michelin's. They are not cheap, about $800 a piece. So if you ever need those tires, uh, yeah, be prepared. The white F-250 is getting finished up finally. So that one will leave today, hopefully, either today or tomorrow, we gotta get cleaned up. Uh, gray 1500 is on the lift, ready to get the lift put on. That one just showed up. The wheels and tires are already mounted, ready to get on here too. All the pieces are taken off, sent out for paint. So the color matching is gonna happen. The chrome delete is gonna happen uh, all in the same time period. The gray 2500 should be ready to go this week by Friday. So outside, we got that white Infinity QX80 back. Uh, that one got all the body work done. The wrap is already done. So that's ready for customer pickup. I think he's coming Thursday to pick that one up, which is tomorrow. So yeah, that one's ready to go. The X6 M60 competition, or X6 M60, uh, that we did the matte PPF on. Well, he tested out the matte PPF already and uh, Valet ended up scraping up the driver's side front bumper. So that's here to get redone. Thankfully that PPF saved it. So we won't have to do any paint work. This is why PPF is important. You put a screen protector on your phone, why not put a screen protector on your vehicle? The Buick Invista, that one is already taken apart, ready for the chrome delete. Wheels gotta get sent out for powder coating. And then once the paint stuff comes back, we'll be good to go on that one. C3 Corvette, stripe is done. That one's ready for pickup. Uh, the stripes on these cars are kind of weird, but kind of cool at the same time, it's easy to line up. Uh, and that car is for sale, so if you guys are interested in that car, hit up my buddy at HPC, uh, High Performance Connection, Ellie. He's got that one ready to go. All right, so another day, another update. We got a lot of stuff going on. I know it doesn't look like it, the shop looks kind of empty, but uh, don't worry, we'll show you why. So we got a Corolla in right now, getting the rear window tint replaced. Uh, it had some cheapo tint before, so Victor's getting that uh, glue off, getting some new ceramic tint going on there. We got the gray 2500 almost done. I think all the wrap is pretty much done. It's just a lot of reassembly and chrome delete left. Buick and Vista is up in the air. Wheels are out, getting powder coated. Some of the badges getting prepped for paint. We got the gray 1500 up in the air. That one's lift is done. Uh, calipers got painted, just waiting for that to dry. My baby's in the background, just, uh, just sitting there. Viper's actually pulled out for now. Uh, getting washed, clay barred, ready for paint correction. The Audi RS e-tron GT, wheels are on, lowering links are on. Uh, this thing is insane when it's slammed. Um, let me show you that. Audi has a cool, uh, cool mode where this is in, uh, I think the highest suspension setting right now, but we can actually put it into efficiency mode and uh, slam it. So in comfort mode, he can still drive it around no problems there uh, but if he wants to kind of slam it he has the option to so now this is an efficiency mode um, it's not going to be really efficient now with the 22s on it but it still looks badass that's all that matters right uh, this one's getting ready to get wrapped uh, it's going to change up the whole look on it he doesn't want to go anything crazy on color he wants it to be like a, a just a gloss white to match his other vehicles so that one's gonna get start like start getting prepped right now to get wrapped. That's all we have left on it, I believe. Oh no, the window tint. Windshield and back glass are done, but the side windows aren't because we've been insanely busy. Let's go back to comfort. Still lower than factory, but still able to be driven. But yeah, that's all for inside the shop. Let's go check out outside the shop. All right, we got the white F250 outside. Got washed up. Waiting to put on one of the uh, mirrors. I think it's inside. They just got to come in and clip it in. So that one is pretty much done, ready to go. Uh, Ram got dropped off. That one's getting new shocks all around. Some Bilstein 5100s. That thing needs it. It's 10 years old, driven. So if you need new shocks, new springs, anything, hit us up. We can do it all. Another GMC Sierra I picked up today. This one's getting a full chrome delete and some wheels. So that one will look pretty good. 
Yeah, it's kind of a run of the mill, everyday kind of thing. We got my truck sitting pretty. We got the Range Rover completed. That one got ceramic tint all around and uh, ceramic coating. Some IGL love on that one. Make it look good for years to come and then uh, get the heat protection with the, ceramic, with the ceramic tint. What else we got here? We got one of my old customers, DJ, with his Lincoln. Getting that unwrapped. We've uh, had that wrapped for a few years now and it's time to go for something different. I think we're gonna get, he's gonna get it painted uh, in a candy red. We got our friends at Auto Nation Spring Dodge, Jeep and Ram, dropped off a, a Jeep to get unwrapped. Gonna finish that up. Volkswagen Atlas is getting finished today, leaving today. Uh, another Sierra here for uh, full chrome delete. Oh no, this one's here for color match fender flares. Yeah, this one. Uh, Silverado RST, six inch lift, 20s and 35s, the usual. LE C3 Corvette, that one's done. LE, come pick it up before I make a bad decision. Uh, GMC 2500 got dropped off last night. This one's getting a lift, wheels, tires, chrome delete, and I believe a top half wrap as well. So change up the look a little bit. It looked good. The Infinity is getting picked up today. And I think that's it. And I'm out of breath because I'm fat. Good? Good? Alright. Because I'm fat. <laughs>